Look on the other side. Is there anything? <laughs> oh my gosh, what? What? He's getting seasick. Oh my gosh, is that really? <laughs> what is this game? Who made this? And why? <laughs> okay. Donkey Kong 64. If I go watch this. Trail of Games. No. The adventure continues. I didn't even press the pound button. I was trying to say, look, didn't. he like perfectly. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Nifty. But you didn't know that. Why would I know that? What situation would that merit? I mean, you know who, you remember who Smithy Wortherman Jensen is? That's because he was number, he number one. one. <laughs> he was number one. How could I forget? <laughs> Look at that. You see, I don't have to... ...to swim. I just hold this button and it does what I need it to do. No! Alright, so we got a, quite a few things to do here in uh, Gloomy Galleon. Uh, Lanky needs 30 bananas and two golden bananas. Tiny needs everything. Good job, Trevor. <laughs> Chunky needs one golden banana, but he needs 55 green bananas. What do you think about that, Trevor? You think it sounds awesome? Yeah. Not, not bad. Not bad, so... We should probably grab these bananas before we do anything. <laughs> you wanna grab those? Colors weave and aspire flames. <laughs> Colors weave <laughs> What do you think is worse, that that theme song or the plot of Kingdom Hearts 3? I thought you were going to say oh, the DK rap. I was man, about to be like... Close one. I thought he was literally going to say that or the DK rap, and I was about to be like, uh, the DK rap They is are both equally amazing. fun to clown on. What is? The DK rap? People King, like the DK Kingdom rap, Hearts that, Oh. Kingdom Hearts thing in the, uh... I mean, the DK rap is... I mean, it's kind of like... It's good the like the Donkey... Ever? It's good like the Donkey Kong TV show is good. It's just, uh, existing in its own parallel universe. Do you hear this blasphemy? Doing its thing. Yeah, I hear it. I'm just saying it's, it's very, I mean, it's, it's very cool, but it's not like a, it's not like a, like a good rap song, like, like a, like, you know, in, in the traditional sense. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good like, uh, like, uh, Chug Jug for My Friends is good. You know, it's just a fun just, song. Just stop talking. You, you meme with it. Just stop talking now. Which is almost mo what's more impressive he about it is going. that it was a meme back in like these days before meme was a term. I don't know why you don't like this level. This is one of my favorite levels in the game. It's not that I don't like it. I, just, I, don't like, I don't like the water parts. That's for sure. What else is new? Michael doesn't like water levels. Michael's right about water levels not being very good. What? Oh, we got, uh, oh wow, we never got the two. Oh wow. That's hysterical. Did you, did you see there's some green bananas up there? Yar. 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 But now you got the two. Wait a second. Red bananas. No, what's, what's annoying about this level is really just the, you know, I was talking about how this game, this game would go up a full two points if you just All fixed right, let's the do technical this issues with it. Let's do this stuff real quick before we forget. Um, ooh, okay, ooh. green balloon too. Now, there's a green cluster up here too. So this this level in particular runs so poorly on the Nintendo 64 that like it breaks one of the levels later on, one of the mini games, and uh, you know if you if you were able to like get full draw distance on this. It'd be a lot better, but you don't, and so uh, you, you just have to suffer a little bit. 
That's so funny that we never got the two. What are you doing? I'm trying to find a, a use for that technique you, you showed me. Uh, you gotta be gamer enough to... Oh yeah, there you go. It is, I will say what's what's fascinating about that. It's a small note, but it seems like wherever you leap from, he always like lands in the right um, the right place after doing two flips. That is pretty cool. So it'll float slow down how fast he flips if you jump from a higher place. That's what we call nifty, right there, gamers. Yeah. Yeah, it's be the red banana. Does it bother you that I'm? Did I tap the button to swim, Matthew? Uh, I just think you get the coolest part about all the noise from it for no reason. The but coolest part about doing it with you fellas um, is <laughs> I never beat this game as a kid, so now I'm like reliving my childhood. I'm like doing a check mark on my little checklist of video games. That would be did. that'd be cool to uh, like. There's a banana you missed on the other side. It'd be too. cool to figure out like what are those games for us. That we never got around to beating, like Gex 1, Gex 64, Gex 3. Hey! Oh, there what, did is. I, what did I see? There was something red looking uh, on the other side, but. With the exception of this, I mean, what? Banjo Tooie? Never beat Banjo Tooie. Got close. I mean, I don't know if I got close. I, I, I got through it a little bit, but never beat it. I never beat any of Banjo games, but I, I didn't oh, really tripping. get into them until I was older. Yeah, you tripping. No, Banjo Kazooie. That's one thing about those games that just incorporated other characters. Diddy Kong Racing is how I got introduced to Banjo. And then I'm like, oh, what's this game, Banjo Kazooie? And I, I love what's that game. What's this game, Conquer? Ah! <laughs> oh, man. I, I never played Conquer. I feel like the humor probably doesn't age well with the being just kind of like shock value stuff. I'm telling you, I take a Diddy Kong Racing character and get to smash real quick. Weird Pig and Smash. That would be awesome. I'd be like, okay, shout out to Sakurai. He's making a sticker. He probably is a sticker, bro. Hmm. Whiz pig. I'll take drumsticks, man. Do you want me to swim around a little bit? or? Uh... Uh, hey, actually, I got a thing you can do. Go back to that number two with Chunky. There's actually two things we can do in that first cove. One is deliver the pearls to the mermaid. We never did that with Tiny. The pearls. Uh, yeah, it'd be the the pearl. Uh, take the number one now. And then uh, lower the water level if it's not already. Hmm. Man, this little chug's like a chug jug, right? <laughs> number one victory, right? Yeah, oh my guys. <laughs> You say uh, stuff like you actually like Fortnite. Uh, hit that, that red uh, arrow. I like Fortnite well enough. Hmm. Uh, all right, so... I mean, I don't love it, but I, don't, I like it well enough. It's fun It's fun to jump into every once in a while, but I don't want to, you know, start so, a Fortnite YouTube channel. <laughs> just stay there, and then the ship's going to come by, and you want to jump on it. Hey, Michael, would you like a King K. Rule game kind of like Bowser's Inside Story? I think Nintendo should make more games based around their villains because they got really strong villains. <clears throat> like a King K. Rule game would be really fun. Just like a Bowser game would, but they'll never do it. Bowser's Inside Story, even though it's Mario and Luigi. Yeah, look at what happened to those guys. Gosh, how are you? Oh, Mike, don't there? say that. I mean, they, oh, they, wait they, a second. They made the game twice, so they must have made some money. Oh, yeah, but I'm just saying, like... Well, no, we didn't if, save if them. you lowered the water level, you'd lower the box, too. We'll see what it looks like. What are you saying, Mike? Oh, about okay, Alfredry? now you... Yeah, see that? You're gonna, I think, do your cannonball jump. Turn Chunky. Oh, nice. Oh okay, so there's a door. <laughs> yeah, that. Remember we saw that earlier and we were... Oh, man. Remember we saw that earlier yeah. and we were like, what in, in the world? Or I remember remembered something with it, but... Dude, I would love to see what frame rate I'm running at right now. Oh, no. 
This is pretty cool though, isn't it? Yeah, I, I like the indoor parts of this level. It just runs at six frames a second. More bananas. No, you got it. You can actually think for a second. Uh, I mean, parts for it, yeah. You got some... Is that a banana coin on the other side of that? Okay, Mike. Banana. Look on the other side. Is there anything? <laughs> oh my gosh! What? What? He's getting seasick. Oh my gosh! Is that really? <laughs> what is this game? Who made this? And why? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I Man, this is what Nintendo games are missing nowadays. They just don't have a sense of humor like this does. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and um, go lower the water level for Trevor and then switch to Tiny to get in that one little area to get that balloon. Just like a balloon. Michael's, co I mean, Matthew's coach over here. You can blow with the water. <laughs> yeah, it's just we have a lot to do in this level. Well, and you have to, like, manipulate the level. I think that's that's what breaks a lot of the N64 water levels, like the Zelda dungeons. You have to keep messing with the water height. Yeah, keep going forward, and you're going to oh. see a tiny switch. No, not that one yet. Well, okay, yeah, you can go back in the water and get your balloon. You well, you there's balloon also cover? a... There's also... He needs to deliver the the pearls. Um, yeah, if you swim, I think it's... um. Well, let go of that first. You swim to your right. Go find the balloon. Just like a balloon. This crazy con... I think it's, yeah, right up Just there. got arrested. That's the annoying thing about this game, though, is that it doesn't load stuff from far away, so it's hard to... That's what I said about the drawing distance. Well, you might look at that and be like, oh, I already have everything here, and then... Yeah, drop us. All right, so now, if you want, you can swim to the bottom and um, turn tiny in that area, because I don't think we did this yet. There should be a barrel somewhere around. Yep. Yar, there be the barrel. <laughs> Yar. You guys are er, yo ho yo. Ho. I think I'm going in here. You may have. I can't remember. No, I don't think so. Well, I went to another one. Oh, you did? Why is she crying then? My pearls oh. are safe okay. now, but... Hmm. Well, then you can, um... You can just, um... Oh, well, you missed those banana coins. Be annoying if there were like bananas in here. <laughs> Place your bananas. All right, so just um, swim to the top then, and go back across that. You're gonna see that crate that's in the water, and just jump on that and get back into the cove. Yeah, that way. 
Char <laughs> yep, there, there, there be the box. Yeah. Did she not make that? Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, and just keep walking forward and you're gonna see a uh, tiny switch and ground pound that. I wonder, did we do the lanky one? No, it doesn't look like we've done that either. So the tiny switch is that one. Oh, okay, you know where that is? No. Uh, go to the left. And then swim down. It's, uh, I can't, I couldn't tell if it was the, yeah, it's, it's down there, Trevor. Uh, I think it's the top one. Yeah, top one. Yar! Okay, so you got 75 bananas with tiny. I suppose to start. 80 now. Yeah, we gotta keep track. Thank you. Oh, there you go. We saw it. Uh, if you turn to the right a little bit, there's a hole you can go through. What is that thing? A starfish? Starmy? I don't know. Yeah, I saw a bonus barrel if you keep swimming that way. I thought it instantly beat me or something. Oh, Langster, 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 there goes a banana. Okay, I guess I'll just... Barrel. I was just making sure... Welcome to bonus Man, tank. this game loves... Tra or, oh, wait, no. You've only done this once, I yeah, guess. Yeah, correct. Still got two more? Man. Yeah. Go back to Pokemon Red and Blue, Starmie. All right, where am I going? You're going to go, uh, yeah, face that direction and go to the, yeah, left, left, left. You just passed it. I know. Right, right, right. Get it right, right, right. Left. Right. Through the door. Got to get some. Commodore 64. Commodore 64. Yeah, it's it's up. You had it. I know nothing about that system, but it's interesting that it's also 64. Man, you are the Nintendo Revolution. I think Switch is still cool. No, the Revolution. Oh, the that was a Wii. I think it was the yeah, Wii. yeah, that was a Wii. And the, right, the so Nintendo stream. Switch, all right, swim up, Trevor, and there, go to the number two warp pad, and then you can just switch to Lanky so I can get that other one. What are you saying, Mike? Well, then there was the Nintendo stream that was supposed to be the Wii U, and they're like, we 
You. <laughs> yeah, usually the nicknames, usually the code names yeah. are better than the um. No, go go back. That cave there. Yeah, usually the code names are better than the actual names. The switch was on point though. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like the last time they named something right since the Super Nintendo. In the Game Boy, the game. Well, although the Game Boy was a uh, little bit of a little bit of a mis mistake, because you know they just. It's it's actually kind of a funny story. In the early days of video games, there's just a small group of marketers who were like, we don't really think that girls will like this. So they just decided to not ever market to girls, and. Uh, and then, you know, after the product came out, they discovered that everybody likes video games, and so games targeted uh, toward different groups started to <laughs> appear, uh, but they were so-called Game Boy. I mean, hey, they called Donkey Kong. The, uh, apparently, it was supposed to be like Monkey Kong or something, right? But that was like a typo, and it just stuck. So, you know, sometimes stuff like that happens. What, what, I don't know if that's, it was a typo. I, so there, there's kind of like an urban legend about that, um, that like someone misheard it or something. I don't know. Could be, because the, the way that they used to design box arts, were they just like, they, the people didn't play the game, they didn't know the game. That's why there's this hilarious box art of Mega Man in North America, where he's like, he's got a gun and he looks like an old man. And they put him in, uh, in Capcom versus Namco or something, or Street Fighter versus Tekken. You remember that? Marvel versus Capcom. The the real the real the real life Mega Man, the old man. They put him in a Tekken game. I think. Tekken versus Street Fighter. Yeah. Interesting. I know he's in Marvel versus Capcom for like ever. Um. I miss those games. I'm gonna yeah, take I, you for a ride. I, mean, I, I like the I like the second one, but after that, I don't. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was like, hey, you know, it adopted that whole. It's kind of my thing with Dragon Ball Fighters. I've never liked fighting games that are like that. They're like, hey, dude, what if you could get like a 75 hit combo and end somebody if, off of like one interaction? I've never understood why fighting games like that are popular. We're like, dude, all you gotta do is get this one hit, and if you memorize your button inputs, you can like, end somebody. I just, I feel like it's, and Soul Calibur tried to do that with Soul Calibur 5, and I feel like that's why that one went away so quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, it's it's a style. I mean, because Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is basically just like Street Fighter. And so I, I appreciate them trying something new, but I, I would agree, I think the second one's a little cooler. I'd give that one the edge. Also, that that song is a banger. Oh, I love this track. I, mean, I want I you to think. Of, you I was about. able to first off before like the Avengers or whatever came. I was able to team up with like the Hulk and Spider Man or like Mega oh Man and Spider Man gosh, stuff yeah. like that. Like that was just awesome. That was so weird. Why was that hard to get? Disney ruined the fourth one. They wouldn't let them use characters like uh, like Wolverine and use all the ones we've got movies coming out for. No, it's the, no, the one that does Thanks, like, Disney. No, the one that's like on the Switch. No, that, they, they just tried to make it like the movie. I always say we go back to like the comic book versions of them versus like fake movie versions of them. Yeah. Like back, you know, like Marvel. Like, you know, going back to that style. I actually think Marvel vs. Capcom 4 was way more fun than the third one, though. But the reason nobody liked it is because of the characters. Yeah, like I said, they, they wouldn't let... Um, but they had Mega Man and Zero in it, so that was pretty cool. They wouldn't let Magneto be in the game either. It's yeah, like, they, we there's haven't, none we of haven't the, bought them yet. There's none of the X-Men characters in there. And then, I don't think the Hulk was in there either. I don't know, he, he actually, he might be in there, I can't remember, but... Uh, yeah, they definitely, the character selection wasn't great, but I thought the Capcom characters were great. You have Mega Man, Zero, Chris from uh, Resident Evil, um... Who else was in there that was really cool? I can't remember, but um, the Capcom characters were great. I they, thought they probably should go back to that style, like that. That like, I don't know what you call that art, but just like drawn art style or whatever, like the, from the first few games. Yeah. Like that pixel, like that two D art style or whatever. Yeah, the second game looks the coolest. The Let's third see. one's when it gets uh, weird looking too. So um. Wait, have well, I? the third one had this cool comic book style. I, I like the first one the most because I, I like, you know, sprite graphics age very well. But I thought the third one looked cool too. But uh, 
The fourth one looked a little weird. They didn't spend enough money on getting that part right. Um, Capcom was in a in kind of a dark place at that time. That's partially why the Mega Man thing hurt so much because they canceled like three Mega Man games before that that whole game came out. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot that went wrong with Capcom for a while, and they've recently been kind of a renaissance. But uh, but yeah, we had. Uh, as far as Marvel characters, yeah, they, they cut out all the X-Men. Just so funny. I don't think it was their choice to do that, though. It's a Disney oh, yeah, thing. Oh, Dis yeah. Yeah, of course it's a... Because you, you, you look at who they put in. Black Panther. Oh, we look had at a this. Movie. It's on the bed. That's funny. Um, they had Black Panther, Captain America, Gamora, Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, Hawkeye. They did have Hulk. Um, but... Yeah, basically, no one outside of their movie properties. It's, I mean, they had Rocket they must Raccoon. have had to, they must have had to fight really hard. Well, Rocket Raccoon's in the Guardians movies, but they must have had to fight for uh, Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, that, so I mean, sad. that's that's why people. That that's the thing. I think people. There's people who try to tell you the fourth game's like not that great, but he, I've even heard a lot of people say the fourth game's a really fun game, but it's just. People don't want to admit they don't like it because the X-Men aren't in it. Well, there were a lot of problems at first with the game, but uh, but people softened up to it over time. But uh, but yeah, I mean, cool Cap Capcom characters. That uh, I like that they put a Monster Hunter character in. So Lanky's got everything. Tiny's just the one she needs. Okay, so Chunky needs 15 bananas. Tiny needs 18 plus two more goldens. Chunky. Chunky. Uh, uh, I, I don't think we did this with Tiny, Trevor, so swim down that area I just came from, so go straight. But I mean, like, at the top. Because <laughs> um, you're going to go and play your saxophone on that music pad. I don't think we did that with Tiny. Hers is that one right there. I know which side of the ship it's on, too. You got this, Trevor? Sure. Mess it up, Trevor. From this way, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And then it's going to be on the left side. So go to the left side of the ship. And it's going to be the second. Go up a little bit. Uh, there it is, right there. So this conversation probably got cut out of whatever video we, we did it in, but we had this conversation while we were trying to desperately beat the uh, 1980s Donkey Kong. But uh, Trevor asked a, a fun little little trivia question, as, as he does. Uh, he, he Wait, asked, there's a fairy in here? Can you do that underwater? I guess so. Maybe you drain the water somehow. No, interesting. <laughs> You know, she had a GoPro. I would probably move here at like a weird position. What was it? What, what, what was I saying? I might I'll come back to it. So the question was, if you could pick one Donkey Kong character to be in Smash, who would it be? And why? Trevor, what's your what's your choice? Um, probably Dixie. I just think it'll be cool to see a character from the Donkey Kong universe in this a girl. Yeah, and, and she's had she's had a couple of games that she starred in. <coughs> I 
I do think she should be in the game, but uh, my personal choice would be Donkey Kong Jr. It's like those classic games. I wonder why Donkey Kong Jr. got in Mario Kart, but Donkey Kong didn't in the first Mario Kart. Hmm. You follow oh. the, the lore timeline, it's because that's the Donkey Kong. Oh, is that Kong. the gif I sent you the other day? Yeah, that's from Mario Kart. Oh, I didn't know that was Donkey Kong Jr. Though. I'm like, who who is this version of Donkey Kong? That's Jr. No. Maybe maybe they don't like calling attention to Donkey Kong Jr. because that he was in a game where Mario was evil. There was a um, golden banana in that room. I think this is my last banana. Yeah! Trevor, you're swimming away from the golden banana? I know. Why is she not showing up here? Because it, it's you're like too close to it. I think part of it is like I can't see her through the bars. Right. But she's actually in that one. I got bars. Do you? Yeah. Got bars. Like this thing is doing a terrible bars. job lighting, by the way. This fish needs to get fired. No, you should you you should be able to make that work. She just wasn't in your line of sight. How? Oh, you had it. I would just stay where you were and just wait for her to come there. I want to ask you, Papa, to jump in there, Michael. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Man, you did worse than he's doing <laughs> on your last one. Okay, I think I need to just keep it right no, here. I only had 10. This one's easy. There we go. Got it. <laughs> See? It wasn't easy, Mike. <laughs> wasn't easy. Because you're over there making that thumbnail. This is hard work I'm doing over here. Yeah, man, it's a good looking thumbnail. It is. It's a great looking thumbnail. I'll take it a step further, buddy. Donkey Kong. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're almost done. Get all your bananas. Let's yarn. One more gold. Let's see what lies in David Jones' locker. I think that was the last banana fairy you were missing, right? I don't know. We'll have to check. Woof. Oh. Um, hey, with, uh, Tiny, well, where are you at right now? Yeah, get back in the water. There's, uh, I'm gonna try and help you find your last golden banana. Swim to, like, the bottom of that, that middle cove. It might even be the cove to the right, but we'll check here first. I can't tell from looking at the strategy guide, but there should be, like, a treasure chest type of, uh, thing. Or, like, not a treasure chest, it's like a, um... It's like a silver box looking thing. Okay, I can't. Uh, yeah, it's not there. Okay, so try the cove next to it. So just um, swim to the left now. There it is. All right, so look for the tiny box and then swim in there. That was the coolest thing about one of the coolest things about Luigi's Mansion, the first one too. Luigi would start humming the theme song. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's how you get in. You just passed it. There it is. There should be a bonus barrel. Whoa, this is pretty cool. It's like some control center. <laughs> oh, it's like that boss. It hit me from all, all the way over there? Really? Interesting. Oh, there goes a bonus barrel. 
backyard. What's it gonna be? Beaver madness. And my favorite oh, one. Oh, it's Trevor's best one. Swat the five. All you have to do is hit one per ten seconds. Hey man, you just let me know if I need to jump in there. There we go. gotten to do this mini game and I feel like I'm really good at it but I haven't it hasn't been a Donkey Kong one there's a there's a magic to it that you probably figured out too where if you get them as they spawn and yeah, move just, down yeah. into the side yeah that's pretty what much you gotta do Trevor try again try again I don't know why the both of you are looking at me right now <laughs> that was pretty weak <laughs> Trevor. Uh, hey man, you just let me know if I need to step in there. Why don't you keep doing your thumbnail. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, I know how to cheese it. Yeah, you got this. If you don't. Oh, that should have hit him. There we go. All right, now down into the side. Oh, Trevor, go. You got this. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Donkey Kong. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. All right. I'm out of here. Do, do, do. So do I just leave the level? Because I think we got everything. Uh, check the menu. Leave the R button. Uh, hit the R button again. Oh, somebody. Or, yeah, we just need 15 bananas with Chunky. I think I know where they are. Oh yeah, we okay. got some DK That's bananas too that we need to get, and then Chunky. DK? Oh, whoa. DK. Wait, where did we see those again? Didn't we see some? Or maybe I'm thinking. Of I didn't see any else. DK bananas. I didn't see any chunkies either. I know I where. Mean, I think I know where chunkies are. Just go to that chunky. tag barrel right there and. <laughs> Try um, get underwater, Michael, like to the floor, and swim that way. Well, um, swim straight though. Sorry. Wait, where are what we? Do you, you mean swim straight? I mean, like swim towards <laughs> where the pirate ship is. No, no, no. Like. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna check the floor while I'm down here. Yeah. I mean, there's no bananas here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So swim out there. And um, if you get on the f uh, now, go to the floor. Ooh. And kind of go to the right. There should be like a log thing. Yeah, that. There's three clusters under there, which Chunky's missing 15, so I'm guessing that's what it is. But I could be wrong. Oh, no. That's DK. DK. Hey, bananas. Oh, try uh, one of the other ones, because there's... Yeah, just keep swimming. There, there we go. go, right there. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
Oh. Hey! Magic. Nice. Nice. Where was that tag, bro? Was it here? There should be one here, because Candy Kong's here, yeah. Speaking of Marvel vs. Capcom earlier, now that was one of those arcade games that was a go-to to play. That was really fun. That really took you for a ride. Gonna take for Oh yeah, you I'm, pick wait. your three team. Like I'd have like Hulk, um, Spider-Man. And I think I'd have like one Capcom character. It'd probably be like, if I were to choose now, it'd be Zero. I love Zero. So you're probably missing a, ba a balloon. Probably. Yeah, I'm thinking, but I'm gonna look in a second. Probably. Back you up, champ. I'll look it up. It was like games like that, and uh, it wasn't Resident Evil. It was that other zombie game. House of oh, hold dead? on. There is a yeah, House of the Dead. That was it. There's an area with oh. 10 bananas, so and Time Crisis. That's another one, too. Me and my brother get, like spend quarters on quarters on quarters on that one. Time Crisis, Darn it. especially in movie. Oh man, that's one thing I miss. Like at movie theaters, too. Like the arcades and movie theaters. Man. Oh, yeah. Now there's just like a small room. It hurts. I, was, I mean, that's why, I, like, I don't. I support movie theaters, man. I, now, like, socially distanced and everything, I attend movie theaters. <laughs> I went to go see Raya and the Last Dragon there. Man. Good time. It was a movie. Good time. Good time. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I went by myself. Because, yeah, got a little teary eyed. And uh, I probably would have been judged. Being a grown <laughs> man crying oh, at a Disney movie. It is. Hey. I'd be curious what part. Made you, you know, no spoilers, but I didn't know the reaction. Of course you didn't. The kids liked it. They had a lot of fun. Uh, Did you cry, Coco? Uh, I, I was feeling Coco. Coco was a very emotional story. I don't know if I cried, but uh, yeah, okay. nice. that was a cool cluster of bananas, well hidden. All right, we're done. Okay, on to the next levels. Okay, look at that. We're going to hey. get this done. We're, we're going to see the light of day after all, gentlemen. Join us for the next episode of Donkey Kong 64.